Just finished Peacemaker. No spoilers here, don't worry. James Gunn and the entire crew that worked on this thing are freaking fantastic. One of my favorite thing about Gunn's work is how he's able to balance hilarious and sometimes just freaking insane moments with quiet, more human moments that flesh out the characters. There's moments in the show where Peacemaker will drop like 25 F-bombs and then talk about like having sex with a chicken or something like that. And then the next moment, we get some of the best dramatic acting I've seen from John Cena. The crazy part is that it all feels natural and it actually flows together pretty well. Like I said, this is some of the best acting I've seen from Cena, but the entire cast in general nails it. Jennifer Holland and Steve Aggie are given a ton of room to flesh out their returning characters from the Suicide Squad, and I love both of their arcs in the first season. Danielle Brooks, Freddie Storma, and, and sorry, I, I don't want to say your name wrong, are also fantastic additions. All three being some of my favorite characters in the show. I'd name all the actors who are great, but I feel like I'd just be listing the whole entire cast, and we don't really have time for that. Okay, okay, okay last one. Annie Chang bodies this performance and shows a lot of range, but it's also nuanced. It's great. The threat of the butterflies might seem a bit similar to Starro in the Suicide Squad, but the motivations and abilities are different enough to where it doesn't feel repetitive. I think the best part of the show, though, is the actual evolution of Christopher Smith, aka Peacemaker. In the Suicide Squad, yeah, he's a douche that's convinced himself he's doing the right thing, but in Peacemaker, we see that Rick Flagg's death, it's made him start to question some things. We see his vulnerable side, we see him grow, but even better, we understand why he is the way he is. The backstory we get for Peacemaker, I thought it was really interesting, and it's the kind of stuff that helps us understand and sympathize with the character. Yeah, he might not be the best dude at first, but we see that he's a product of bad parenting and trauma. It's these moments that make the show shine as we see real struggles portrayed through fictional characters, a really good moment in particular coming with Economist in the last episode. The Action though, freaking fantastic. I love how Gunn and every other director here, how they play these scenes because they don't just feel like the camera's cutting every other second and that I'm getting just assaulted by a shaky cam. They hold onto shots just long enough and frame things from a wide enough shot that we can actually see what's going on. It's a James Gunn project, so we're gonna get a ton of great music and as always, right when I finish the episode, I go and find all the songs so that I can just listen to them over and over again until DJ Gunn gives me some more music. In conclusion, I think Peacemaker is not only my favorite, but the most complete of all the recent superhero shows we've gotten. It's refreshing that this isn't trying to set up future shows and movies, and instead it's just a really good look into the mind of Peacemaker that just so happens to have great characters, acting, action, story, directing, pretty much everything you would want in a show, or just life. I loved the series, if you couldn't tell, and as long as you're old enough to watch, because seriously, it is not a kid show, like, at all, I think you owe it to yourself to check it out. It is some of the best DCEU content we have. Thanks for watching. That was my review. Uncharted review tomorrow. Let's hope it's not that bad.